Hey everybody, Steve here. I got a uh, short story long. I have to tell you the story first. What I got, to save time, I got the uh, Buck 119 just a little while ago at Walmart. I went up to Walmart for something else. I said, you know what? I'm going to stop over there in the sporting department because back in the day, you used to get it at a hardware, whatever. I had one of these back in 19, I want to say 79, 77. And I bought it to carry with me uh, on my... I used to go freshwater fishing with my brother like six days a week and uh, in a John boat. And I used to carry it on my belt, the buck, and then at the end of the day, i put it in my tackle box. And it got all scratched up because I think the, uh, yeah, it is, the pommel and the hand guard, they're uh, aluminum. And that handle uh, is, is called phenolic, but back then it just felt like a bowling ball. I didn't know the name phenolic. Uh, so that's what I got uh, back then. I think I got it back then at Montgomery Wards. Is that or Kmart? Went back in the fish department and bought it. Anyway, I used to put it in my tackle box and about five, six years ago, I gave all my fishing gear away because I don't fish anymore to my nephew. And I'm sure that's in the tackle box. And I know he'll appreciate it. It's got that nice aging to it, but I had to replace it. I've always loved this, and what I did, I ordered it on Amazon on the 21st of December, and that was going to be my Christmas present, and it kept delayed, delayed, and I thought, okay, it's because of the snowstorm, <clears throat> and then finally it says uh, they had to relabel it. It was somewhere here in Florida. I got the uh, email this morning that uh, it's law, it, it may be lost in the mail, and I could ask for a refund. I clicked on refund. I mean, enough's enough. So I got the refund. They processed it. It was good about Amazon. It's just right away, it's going through. I'll, I'll see it in the bank, you know, probably Tuesday. That's okay. But anyway, I had to go up to Walmart to get something. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to go back there in the sporting department because that's where you would find this. And there I did. I went there, and they had it. And actually, the guy says, uh, we don't get too many of these in every, every once in a while. And it had one left. Isn't that cool? So that's, this is the Buck 119. It's USA made. I think the sheath is imported from somewhere, probably Mexico. But I don't remember, Isaac, you would know, or somebody tell me down in the comments. I don't remember the sheath being like this back in my day. So it might be improved. But there it is. It says Buck right there on the front. And on the back it's stamped 119. It's a really nice sheath, very soft, uh, nice snap. See how that covers that? Nice, soft, just soft, good leather. Nice stitching, very well done. Now let's get hold of this thing. What a beauty. It looks like uh, in the jewelry department, it shines so nice, so new. There she is. Yep. I think I had this all gunked up and everything this was all scratched up so was this the blade you could tell back in the day i wasn't as good as sharpening as i am now it is an art to it you kind of learn how so i just sharpen it everywhere i could any way i could i think i sharpened it with sandpaper one time but yeah i used to take this out fishing when i got done put it in the fishing box but let's talk about this for a second look at that clip point on this now this is brand new out of the box unused and there's that phenolic handle you know it, it it might be a little slippery for somebody but you have to appreciate what it's all about and it does it feels like that bowling ball material just a really nice weight to it there it is buck usa I'm not sure what the steel is, but it, it's nice hard steel. Very good against corrosion. Easy to sharpen. Just a really nice clip point. And I absolutely love this thing. And that's pretty sharp. Let me see, I got something here. Yeah, let me try this. Oh yeah. That's sharp out of the box, folks. So this is the Buck 119.
This is an old classic from Buck, and it's USA made. You know, now that I got this back in my hand and in my possession, I highly recommend this. Now, I've seen them go on sale for around 54 bucks, 58 bucks, but I think the average price is about 70 right now. And uh, I got it cheaper at Walmart than I did Amazon. How about that? Free shipping because I brought it home myself. Okay, that's my short story long. That's the Buck 119 US made, USA made. I got one back in my drawer in my collection. Okay, y'all have a great day. We'll talk to you later. Thank you.